field correspondent Jeff Lenoski reporting to you live from Ray's Mountain Bike Park for Paps Video Zine. Park's closed today. We have a Shams March MMR camp going on today. Got a bunch of guys in here. We're gonna go take a look and see what's going on. All right, I'm here with Jim Dalval. He's one of the uh, head coaches for the MMR camp. So Jim, tell us what's going on today. Uh, we have 16 students today and uh, we're gonna be teaching them basic skills, drills that they use every day and everyday riding, and then uh, go to some advanced level riding with some of them and breaking the crews. Yeah, we're gonna be going over the basic drills the everyday skills and, and then we're going to be breaking into groups and getting more advanced uh, with the jumping and using the skate park facility, spine ramps and a little bit of bridge work. Sounds cool. Let's go meet some of the riders. Alright, so we're here with JP. He's all the way from Michigan. So uh, what are you looking to learn today? Um, okay, let's, let's try this without the, without the helmet. Uh, I'm looking to learn uh, to corner effectively and um, to jump well, jump smoothly, cool. and maybe manually a little bit. All right, well, I'm going to be helping guest coach, so uh, we can go over some of that stuff. There's plenty of jumps here. The, the cement floor will hook up for the cornering, and uh, we'll try some manuals too. Of course, Chris, he's here from Cleveland. So uh, what are you looking to learn today? Um, I'm looking to learn uh, different stuff on things that I've ridden many times before. Cool, you come to the park often? Yeah, I have a season pass here. Sweet, so hopefully by the end of the day you'll be shredding this place and be the park ruler, huh? I hope so. Cool. All right, let's go uh, watch what they're learning. All right, we're here with the man, the owner and founder of MMR Camps, Shams March. How long have you been doing these camps? Ah, this is our 10th year we've been doing this, so it's uh, been a long road. Cool, you ever done an indoor camp before? Ah, uh, this is our first one, uh, and you know, I, I remember meeting Ray when he first opened, so uh, I'm excited to have him invite us back and do these camps here, so hopefully it'll be a, uh, an annual event here. Cool, well, aside from being guaranteed perfect weather, what do you think of the venue for learning? Oh, this is a great venue. Nice closed area. We can actually uh, work on skills really easily here. Um, you know, we just got to really watch our sizing is what we're finding out here, with being our first one. But uh, it's great. We have all levels of riding. You know, we can have the beginner to the advanced rider in almost the same room. So we can really keep an eye on everybody and uh, being able to help them with some really great attention. Cool. Well, we're going to sneak around and get some spy shots of the camp. Hopefully, we don't give away too much stuff online. But we'll see how these guys are improving. Cool. Thanks, Jeff. Sweet. The term modulation and feathering and all that. So this is kind of just using it. So go ahead and step back, have a little clear air, pull your bike into a, into a wheelie if you can. Yeah. Now push on the bike, push, and then slowly let off your brake till the bike rolls. Don't let it be choppy. This is like driving with that clutch. Nice and smooth and then stop. And then nice and smooth. Push, push hard, push hard, push hard and then stop. How much did you move your finger there? Roll down and go ahead and do one stop right down here. Progressive. Uh, yeah, but one more aggressive. Drop the heel. Oh, right on, right on. Alright, right, right. right, just remember, drop the heel. Over heel, drop it down, and apply your weight directly down to the wheel set. Cool, so those camps look pretty sweet. Another thing Ray put in over the off season are these coaching cams. It's basically a TV hooked up to a delayed video camera so you can check yourself out in the foam pit. It's pretty cool because you get to do tricks, check out your form, and it's another way to learn tricks over here. That guy's awesome. And that'll do it for the third episode of Ray's Peps Video Zine. Uh, in the next episode, we'll be talking to Eric Carter. He was up at the park on January 19th and 20th for the Mongoose Demo Weekend. We'll also be checking out some of the highlights from that demo. If you missed the Mongoose Demo, GT will be doing their demo the weekend of January 26th and 27th. Be sure to make your way up. They'll be bringing up a bunch of bikes for you to check out, ride around the park, and see what you like. Looking ahead, we have another Ride with the Pros Weekend coming up February 9th and 10th. And later on next month, we're going to be doing a Dirt Rag Ladies Only Day on Friday the 22nd. That's right, no guys allowed and women ride free from 10 a.m. to 4. As always, details on these and other upcoming events are available at RaysMTB.com. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you at the park. Camp's over. Showed you the coaching cam. We got the place to ourselves. This is what Ray's looks like when no one's here. Usually there's hundreds of riders and these stunts have people all over them. When you come here during park hours, there's two rules. Stay on the trail and don't ride the trails backwards. I got the keys. 
no one's here to kick me out, so don't tell Ray. I'm gonna show you how I like to ride it when no one's around. six out of the park and back in. Let's go. Cool. Well, thanks for checking out Pat Video Zine. That's how I like to ride the park when Ray isn't around, so. Oh. Hey, dude. What were you up to? Nothing, just hanging out. You were supposed to be uh, finishing up your chores to pay for your riding pass. All right, I'm gonna clean up around here. You hold this. We'll see you next time. Thanks, Jeff.